Last month, I sat down and spoke with dozens of real estate pros. After 25 hours of conversation, one pattern was screaming in my face. Everyone needs more leads, but no one has time to get them. As I was trying to solve this, I ended up creating this AI real estate lead agent that finds my clients 150 plus real estate leads every single week, and it's blowing up our lead gen potential. Now instead of spending 8 to 12 hours per week grinding to find new real estate leads, all my clients need to do is ask for a lead list, and it takes less than 5 minutes for that agent to come back to them with a list of at least 30 brand new leads. And since not every single lead is worth your time, my AI agent also scores each person based on how well they fit within your business. If you're new here, I'm Mike. I've been deep in the AI game for the past two years, and now I help real estate pros build systems that help them scale, earn more, and get their time back. And if you hate wasting a quarter of your work week chasing real estate leads, I'm about to break down exactly what I did to fix this lead problem and find $7,000 or more in new deals within a couple of months. So let's get straight into it. All right, so no matter what industry you're in, real estate or otherwise, leads are always gonna be a problem for you at some point. Imagine having a tool that you could just open up, ask for leads, and then a few minutes later, you check your CRM and it's absolutely packed full of brand new leads that are already pre-qualified. Now I'm sure this sounds crazy, but this is exactly what I'm about to show you right now. So what you're seeing on screen right now is actually a simplified version of the actual lead workflow that I built for my clients that could save somewhere between eight and 12 hours every single week and generate somewhere between seven and $40,000 in extra revenue every single year. All right, so just to show you guys exactly what I'm talking about here, let me show you a little demo of how this workflow looks like in action. So this is my little chat window that I actually interact with this agent from. And believe it or not, all I have to do to get this workflow going is to just come in here and say, hi, can you find me some new leads, please? When I get this message sent off, take a look at what happens. So this workflow is going to start analyzing the task that I just gave it. It's going to start pulling leads from a source that I actually set online. And from there, it'll start extracting data, processing everything in the background using both AI and a tiny bit of custom code that I actually used here. And it won't just pull leads for me and send them into my CRM. It'll actually continue to score them according to my ideal criteria. And it'll judge things like when the house was built, what the property description is, how, how large the house is, how many bedrooms it has, where it's located, and it'll actually score each lead based on how good of an opportunity it can be for me. As you can see here, I just got 30 brand new items coming in through this workflow, and I'm actually going to stop this right now because this can really start to get out of hand once I start adding a lot of leads to my CRM. So let me just pause this workflow and we can go and check out what's going on in my CRM. And by the way, once the agent's done finding my leads, it'll actually return me this nice little response in my chat window to let me know that it's done. And now if we actually hop into my CRM, you could start to see what some of these results look like. We have everything from the owner's name to a direct phone number, property address, a price, a full property description. So if you open each of these up, you'll actually see the entire description of that property in there. We also get what year the home was built. And based off of all this data we were able to obtain here, I actually have an AI step that's scoring each lead here based on how good of an opportunity it is according to a set criteria that I gave the AI. If you're curious about getting ahead with AI but don't know where to start, I'm putting together a private community just for you. Inside, you'll find exclusive courses, Q&As with me, a library of AI agents you can use today, and a growing collection of other resources that give you everything you need to start scaling your business, and start saving five or more hours every single week with AI within about 90 days. If that sounds interesting, go ahead and hit my first link down below to get access completely for free. Or if you're a business owner or real estate pro and you're curious about adopting AI and ironing out your AI strategy without the headache, then hit link number two to book a one-on-one -on -one call with me and my team. Anyways, let's get straight back into the video. Now, if I wanted to, I could actually just come in here, sort by my highest opportunities. And then from there, I can make sure I'm only spending my time on the highest quality opportunities here. And anytime I want to reach out to someone, I already have all of their information and a direct phone number I could reach everybody at. Now, this is actually a really incredible system. And this simplified version I have on screen is it just barely scratches the surface of what my team and I are doing behind the scenes here. So the way that the rest of this video is going to work, I'm going to give you a behind the scenes look on my AI transformation matrix on how we actually identified the solution, how we built it, what the real business impact and ROI is. Then after that, I'm going to give you a very high level overview of how this system works, how I set everything up and how you can grab this exact template for yourself and start playing around with it a bit if you want to give it a shot. But with that said, let's hop straight into our AI matrix so I could show you what some of my processes look like here behind the scenes. All right, so what you guys are looking at here is what I like to call my AI transformation matrix. Now at Night Shift, this is something that we like to do for our clients just to really expand our AI strategy and make sure that we're targeting the right solutions that have the highest impact for everyone. And as we go through this, I'll really show you why lead gen isn't the best solution for everybody, as well as some of the actual benefits that you could expect from a solution like this if you do decide to adopt it. So essentially we break up our process into four different buckets here. And all of it stems from our starting point here, which is identifying our core problem, or at least what our client 
client perceives the problem to be. In this particular case, our main bottleneck here is being able to generate more leads without having to sacrifice your limited time on low value activities. So before I even build any solutions, I always analyze this from four points of view here. The first is actually uncovering our problem, which is our discovery phase. Number two is diving deeper to actually uncover hidden problems and whether we're targeting the right solutions in the first place. Third is analyzing our actual business impact and doing some calculations to see which solutions offer us the highest returns. And then number four is actually our solution design and implementation once we've narrowed down what we want to do. Now I'm actually going to take you through this in a very brief overview. I'll try to make this as straightforward and digestible as possible. So let's hop straight into it. So first of all, when we're starting with our discovery phase, we're really trying to map out what the real problem is behind the scenes here. And in this case, I've literally lost count of how many people I've talked to that actually see lead generation as their top challenge. It's a time consuming activity for everyone. And if you ultimately don't have any leads, you don't have business. Lead generation is a critical activity. And since this is something that everybody relies on, we really try to break down what the actual pain points are here and where the biggest costs lie. So something I tend to find often, and these numbers will definitely vary by individual. I've come across a lot of agents and solopreneurs who spend 10 to 15 hours every single week looking through websites, doing cold calling, buying lead lists, rummaging around on Facebook groups, or even doing door knocking. And at the end of the day, the conversion rate for a lot of these people ends up being around 2%. So a majority of this 10 to 15 hours ends up going to waste. And because a lot of the manual lead gen methods that people use give you more unqualified leads than qualified leads, then we can directly connect this entire concept to being a bottleneck that really pulls away from high value activities, closing deals, and building client relationships. At this point, I've interviewed dozens of real estate pros, analyzed their workflows, and really tried to figure out why everything ends up being so inefficient. We're going to actually dive a little bit deeper and target what could be really going on behind the scenes here. One of the key aha moments that I had with this was actually realizing that about 12 to 14 of those 15 hours ended up being wasted because most leads don't end up matching the ideal criteria. And because conversion rates are so low, it's just too difficult to really scale this system if you're relying on human limitations here. So the hidden problem at the end of the day isn't just the time that you spend, it's also the lack of precision in qualifying your leads before they even end up in your CRM and taking your time when it comes to follow up. And something I ended up realizing here is that not having enough leads is more a symptom of a bigger problem, which is actually poor qualification. And when you combine not having good lead gen methods with not understanding what actually makes for a good lead in the first place, this is really gonna sabotage the way that you do business no matter how big you are. So knowing the difference really stopped you from chasing all these shiny lead solutions and actually going after the wrong things. And this is actually why we like to dive deeper and understand the real hidden costs behind doing something before we actually implement a solution for one of our clients here. Now, after that, I'm actually going to analyze the real business impact and ROI behind a solution like this once we've nailed it down to something that we would want to pursue. So during my AI audit, I actually was able to find out that we end up seeing around 12 hours wasted every single week to messy or ineffective lead gen. So if we're able to actually grab that time and turn that into an ROI instead of a loss, then we can actually apply that to closing extra deals, which can be valued at anywhere between seven and $11,000 in commissions on average. A lot of numbers can end up being far more than this, but this is just a very conservative estimate. And just to build on my previous point about poor lead qualification, this is something that really creates a huge ripple effect, which leads to lost opportunities and lost revenue that becomes really difficult to calculate precisely. And this is all composed of things like missed opportunities that you don't reach out to, slow follow-up, in other words, you take way too long to actually get back to people, and also having frustrated clients that end up experiencing the gaps that you have in your system. And once we patch these gaps and really use some of these AI solutions to unclog some of these bottlenecks, then according to that 12-hour per week calculation, we'll end up looking at something around 600 hours annually saved just by cutting out these bad processes. And this hidden revenue opportunity is really what we're looking at in terms of the actual value behind a solution like this. Assuming your other business processes like your closing methods are strong, then I'm sure you could see how tremendous of an opportunity this can really provide to people. Which is why after analyzing all three of these previous phases here, we'll actually feel comfortable moving into a solution design and implementation phase here. So this is where we really get into the nitty gritty of what's going to be solving this problem and how we can actually go about providing the solution to start reclaiming some of that time and adding revenue to the business itself. So our solution here is a variant of what you saw in the demo. We're looking at an AI agent that you can either chat with to request leads or even schedule to run on its own, pulls leads from various sources around the internet, scores them based on their quality in your specific criteria as a business or as a solo agent, and actually integrates directly into your CRM to save all of these leads and keep track of every single activity that's happening here so that you don't have to. And in this case of the demo here, I really wanted to focus on simplicity 
here to make it as easy to interact with as possible. Not having any complex dashboards or complex processes here is really good what's going to make this work in the long term. At the end of the day, it almost works like magic. You could literally jump onto this agent, ask for leads, and it finds them for you, automates the qualification, sends them directly into your CRM, and all the while actually eliminates around 90% or more of the manual lead gen that would have had to go into this before. If you're somebody who's actually bought leads before, I'm sure you've experienced that a lot of these leads you buy are just complete garbage. And the problem is that other people's scoring criteria are not going to be the same as yours. And the way that we solve that is actually baking this criteria into the agent itself so that it directly understands what separates a good lead from a bad lead. And after everything here is said and done, we're able to transform this chaotic lead gen into an ROI focused system that saves around 600 hours and adds around $42,000 in revenue every single year. And this is exactly what I included here as our final impact here. And just note that the demo that I showed you in this video is not production level. These numbers you're looking at here really apply to the more advanced systems that I'm implementing with my team. While the demo definitely works, it's more of a proof of concept to illustrate that these numbers are achievable. But now that we've actually looked through our AI transformation matrix, gone through all four phases, and looked at our final impact here, let me actually take you behind the scenes into the development itself. I'll give you a very high level overview of how I actually put this system together myself. So let's get straight into it. All right, so after looking at a real AI transformation behind the scenes here, I wanted to take you through what it would look like in the deployment phase of this, just so you can kind of understand a little bit of the technical aspects behind this. So I don't want this video to end up being too long. So if you want to actually copy this and play around with it yourself, you could actually join my free school community and grab this template for yourself. You also have some exclusive courses, Q and A's with me, and it's a really fantastic resource if you're looking to really master AI or learn how to adopt it in the real world. So this is what our workflow is going to look like right now. All right, now I just switched into execution view right here, just so you guys can see some of the data that's flowing through this workflow. So essentially what's going on here, I have it connected to a little chat window here so that we can actually talk to our little agent here. And every message that we're getting through this system is actually being analyzed by an AI task analyst. This AI step is actually taking a look at everything the user asks. So whether you're asking for a lead generation related task or something unrelated, this AI will be able to differentiate that and actually route it along the correct pathway for you. Because this is a lead gen focused workflow, I decided to leave the other pathway empty here. But you could actually go in here and connect another AI agent to do things like manage your calendar, send emails, analyze documents, and any number of other tasks here. Anytime you come in here and actually ask for new leads, the rest of this workflow is going to be dedicated to showing you guys exactly what that looks like here. So in my first step here, I'm actually using an AI lead scraper here that's connecting directly to one of the best slash easiest real estate lead sources out there. So the one that I'm using in this case is actually fsbo.com. And this is a great source for actually finding real estate leads. It gets updated relatively frequently. So while this definitely isn't the only source that I would use for a production case, it's definitely definitely one of the ones that I would consider. But again, in production, I'd be using a lot more than one source here. But essentially what's happening here is we're scraping fsbo.com to return this giant block of HTML that we're getting on the right hand side here. And this is actually going to contain everything that we need to process the rest of our workflow. So after that, there's going to be a couple of minor coding steps that, that I'm running in this workflow after this. And again, this will be available in the template in my school community. So you guys can just copy this. But essentially what's going on here is I'm using an HTML node to actually extract these links that you see right here on the right hand side from our HTML here. That's essentially what this little code extraction is running right here. All of our lead information is going to be contained within these links that you see on the right hand side, which we're actually going to run through and scrape individually to pull our lead info. And after that, since we're getting a lot of items being passed through this workflow, I've actually included a loop so that we can actually run through each lead and each property one at a time. So the first step within our loop is actually to read the listing data that exists within each link that we're getting here. So as you can see on the left hand side, we have about 29 links that we just passed through on this one execution of the workflow here. And because we don't want to run through every single one at once, I'm actually passing in one at a time so that we can read the content of each link. And what this is going to return for us is a huge HTML block here that you can kind of preview on the right hand side. And even though this looks like a mess, this actually contains all of our lead information that we need for this workflow. And in order to actually extract it, I'm going to be using another HTML node here. And once again, there's going to be a minor amount of coding to actually accomplish this. And again, if you guys want to just copy what I've done here, you can just pick this up in my school community. But essentially what we're doing here is we're taking in the HTML data from our last node and we're extracting a set of values here that exist within that HTML here. So every single one of these is going to correspond to a different type of information I'm getting here. Once we've actually extracted everything, what you see on the right hand side is what we're actually going to get here. There's actually a lot more information I could have extracted from this data, but these are the few key points that I wanted to make sure that I got for sure. 
And once we've extracted all of the data that we want, I'm going to be passing it into my AI lead score analyst. And this is essentially what's going to take my custom criteria and actually apply it to every single lead to score them and really interpret what kind of opportunity we're dealing with here. So there are a few things going on here, but first let me actually open up our system message so you can take a look at that. And if you've ever done any prompt engineering before, you'll probably recognize some of these techniques that I'm using here. But essentially, I'm just keeping everything organized by using different categories to outline things like the role, the task, and the specifics behind what we're trying to achieve with this AI step here. Everything here is aimed at teaching this little AI step to become a master AI real estate lead gen analyst. In order to do so, I'm passing in things like the price, the number of bedrooms that you're built, and the property description here. From there, under specifics, I'm really instructing the agent on how to handle each of these variables here. So for price, bedrooms, and so on, I have a set criteria for each that I'm really looking for that will end up determining the score that the AI ends up setting to each lead here. And just to reinforce this, I've transformed this into a few shot prompt here using three examples to actually show the agent what it would look like to be scoring a real property opportunity here. The critical part here is I actually include a note to only output the score that we're looking for. So after all of this analysis, we're only looking for a number from 1 to 10 to actually score each lead opportunity. And altogether, this prompt has been working very well for me. There's a lot more that we could do to actually customize it, make it operate a lot more precisely. Another interesting thing I've done here is actually enable the fallback model for this AI step here. And the reason why I did that is if you're only using one AI model, then there tends to be rate limits that you run into, especially if you're analyzing this level of data. If your initial AI model experienced too many requests within a certain period of time, we'll actually route that to our fallback models so that our workflow doesn't fail at this step and we don't just get overloaded with more data than we can actually handle at once. This is one of those clever things that really makes your workflows a lot more sustainable in the long run. So I just thought I'd include that there for you guys to check out. And our final step here is to actually save the leads into our CRM, which in this case is my Airtable CRM that I was showing you guys in the intro of this video. I'm just passing all of that directly into my Airtable here so that we can map those values and save everything properly. Obviously, you could swap this out for whatever CRM you're using, but I like to use Airtable for a lot of my projects. Once this workflow is actually done looping through all of our leads, the final thing we're going to do is just return an AI response to the user. And the reason why this didn't execute this time is because I stopped the workflow. But when you're usually running this, you'll be able to come in here and actually use this AI step to generate you a little message just to return in chat to let you know that the entire task has been finished and your leads have been successfully added to your CRM like this. And this just helps with user friendliness and keeping the workflow as clean as possible, which is always going to be a wise consideration when you're designing workflows like this. There's a whole lot more to the AI strategy behind generating leads like this than it might seem like on the surface. And I hope altogether between our AI matrix and this little proof of concept overview, I hope you guys could really see what the value is behind a solution like this and how you can really scale something like this up to earn time back, increase revenue, and ultimately scale your business with AI systems that really work with you in much the same way that an actual employee would. So that's about all I wanted to cover in this video using AI to help generate real estate leads. Now, if you're actually serious about building a system like this for yourself, and you happen to own a business or you're a real estate professional yourself, then go ahead and hit my second link down below to actually book a one-on-one -on -one call with me and my team so that we can discuss what AI can actually do for your business and what solutions will actually have the highest ROI for your specific situation. Otherwise, if you're curious about joining a community of other like-minded people who want to adopt AI, then hit link number two and actually join my free school community. You can access exclusive courses, direct Q&As with me, and a whole bunch of other resources I'm working on. So definitely check both of those links out. But in the meantime, thank you guys so much for watching. I'd really appreciate it if you'd consider dropping a like and a subscribe down below if you enjoyed this video. Be sure to let me know what your favorite part was down in the comments. And as usual, I'll catch you all in the next one.